um, all these abbreviaturas, all these difference. If one time you play, and the next time you go, this has to be an incredible, like a gesture of beauty. Like, you la, fa, sol, la, ri. If you are going from la, and then the next step is la, si. This little connection, this relationship between the notes, the distance between the notes, if it's going up, or if he would have done la, sol, mi, fa, sol, that would be a completely different feeling. So you need to understand, or I, I like to understand when I play, this relationship, and especially this feeling of is it going up, is it going from down, is it the same note, is it going, you know, so... between the notes. See, everything is going down, but they, this all, like suddenly there is a note that goes up. All these things fascinate me in, and I think you can find so many beautiful expressions and details in, in, in the music. Uh, when this like here, a scale is going down, but one note suddenly is going up. I think you need to show, not show it, but you know, there is something there that you can enjoy and, and just play a little bit out. It's not, yeah, it's not so easy. Um, I, I like to always feel really flexible in my hand and all the changes, all the shifts that I do. I try to not have like blocks in when I try to be expressive. Of course, when you're trying to be technical, as many blocks as possible. But in this kind of situation, I wouldn't do... You know, I try to be really plastic, really flexible with my hand, make the distance as short as possible, and yeah, just get a feeling of the distance, and I think it's beautiful sometimes, it in, in depends on the case, to have a, you know, a bit of portamento here and there, you know, here a bit of the path of the first finger. I think in this place in particular it works. I, I like it, I, I do it on purpose. Uh, and there is a lot of, of this kind of really plastic and legato feeling in the left hand. I think it's very important to have a legato feeling in the left hand if you want to have a legato in, in, the, right heart, in the right hand. It's almost impossible to have a great legato if the hand here is going by blocks or you know you don't have this really great legato in the left hand. first time it was always very scary because it feels you know, there are so many changes and so many shifts and scales and um, but we have to to get past that somehow um, and find all the expression that there is between the notes I think when you are focusing on all the relationship between the notes you know um, it makes cello playing much easier technically for some reason you're not focusing on which is very difficult, you know, uh, if you're thinking of like the distance between the and kind of like the musical shape. Like all 
this, oh, and then there's this semitone, like the, se the semitone, is the closest distance, but also the largest distance emotionally somehow. So. Here I like to, um, instead of playing twice, like really clean, two clean shifts, I, I have a feeling that you know, the second one is a bit more like singing. So. And also in the long, in the long note, to make a really organic long note, it's very important that you're listening to the orchestra. They're playing, and you shape the note with what they're playing. So. the same thing. There's a change of direction and this gives you the expression I think. Sometimes he goes from like really romantic to a very like a cutesy kind of uh, expression. <laughs> 